everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in a little bit of a different environment. I'm in a different background because I thought I'd just mix it up again and just keep mixing up the backgrounds as it gets through the year. It's a little bit more autumnal because I've got this kind of like light thingy here. It's actually got loads of cobwebs on it so I'm a little bit worried I'm gonna get a spider but anyway. This video is gonna be a comparison video between a £2.50 Primark foundation and a highly expensive Estee Lauder double wear foundation which is what my mum uses and I'm not entirely sure how much this costs but I believe it's about £36 which I would never ever 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 spend on a foundation. I usually get the Rimmel, sorry I'm out of breath, I usually get the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation which is about £8 and I literally use that all the time. This one I picked up once and it was actually alright, like it wasn't like anything bad. I think if you've got fairly decent skin with not too many spots or anything then it will cover a decent amount um, and I do take this in my bag with me as kind of like a top up foundation throughout the day if I accidentally rub part of my foundation off but yeah so I'm just going to be doing a comparison between the two half of my face is going to be this one and half of my face is going to be this one and we're just going to see what it looks like initially how it applies when I'm actually putting it on and also how it lasts throughout the day so I am going to put it on I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and powder and then I'm just going to leave my makeup how it is throughout the day and see the difference in the sides because the difference in price £2.50 and £36 is a hell of a difference. So yeah, this one, the Primark one, says it's... <clears throat> this one, the Primark one, says it's a medium coverage, semi-matte finish with oil-free formula, which is obviously good because I have oily skin and it's in the shade Ivory. They have repackaged their foundations, but they're all the same, just to let you know. And the Estee Lauder Double Wear, this one, say it has a shade on it. Um, it says 2C3 Fresco. I don't know if that's the shade name or anything, but anyway, just for reference. So I'm just going to be popping them on now. So I'm going to start off with the Estee Lauder one just because. So let's go. Now I know that you don't have to pop too much of this on your face to get a good coverage, which you obviously have to bear in mind. And I've just realised I'm only doing half my face, so I will need half the amount. I think I've got more than enough here. I'm going to do this side Estee Lauder, this side Primark. This is always my best side anyway, so I don't know why I decided that. But yeah, I just put a tiny bit on my face. Let's pop it on. I don't um, use this foundation, as I've said. It's my mum's, so I'm just kind of trying it out. I have used it before, so I do know how it is. But I just want to do a comparison because of the price is just so different take it a little bit down and I am just going to pop a little bit more on um just because of my nose and here and just kind of the chin area a little bit more also you may have noticed I've got my nails these were literally a pound from Primark you probably think I go to Primark all the time and I just buy like all Primark stuff you do. no I don't but sorry Tommy's in the room for those of you wondering where that voice just came from no basically um what I'm trying to say is you might think that I buy all of my makeup from Primark. I don't. Um, I just happen to have some things. Right, I've got foundation stuck in my nail. Um, what to do? And I've also got a new jumper on as well, so I can't wipe it on that. Oh, hang on, wipe it on the foundation brush. What a good idea. It's mad, isn't it? It's well mad. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to blend it in using just a normal brush. The end has fallen off. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, so this side is obviously the Estee Lauder foundation that I've just popped on. You can see it kind of gives quite a natural, like not natural in terms of it doesn't cover much. It does cover, but it doesn't look cakey. And I think that's what you have to bear in mind with the price is that it covers really well without looking kind of bitty and cakey. So yeah, I really like this um, side. There is a spot there and it hasn't really covered that. Um, but obviously it depends on how much you put on of the foundation but yeah that's really good now I'm gonna do the other side 
with my Primark foundation. Personally, if I had to buy one or the other, I would always buy the Primark one just because I'm always gonna buy the cheapest thing because I don't wanna spend loads of money on a foundation. I'd rather spend money on clothes. Thank you very much. Right, I've taken quite a lot on my hand, really. Um, so I'm just probably not gonna use that much. But again, I'm gonna pop it on my face. Now what I've noticed is that the Estee Lauder one doesn't have a scent to it, which is probably, you know, a good thing. Whereas this one has a very strong kind of clinical scent to it. It almost smells like um, soap or hand wash or something like that. Um, so, you know, if you don't like scented things, then don't get this. Right, I'm gonna use the same brush, but I've just kind of wiped it clean off the other product and I'm gonna blend that in like so. I can see it kind of takes a little bit more blending. It feels a lot more colder, which means it's got more water in it. It feels a lot wetter. Um, it is covering really, really well, as you can see. But yeah, you can definitely feel the water in this. Like, it's not too watery, but it's just, compared to the other side, it feels more dry, whereas this side feels a lot more kind of moist. Okay, I have finished with the Primark side. Now, looking at this side, you can see um, it is definitely medium coverage. Like, it's not full coverage because you can kind of see my, like, a few, like, blemishes and scarring and stuff, which is absolutely fine. I feel like if you can see, like, little blemishes and stuff, it actually looks quite good. Like, people with freckles, it look, I think it looks good to see the freckles rather than not. So that's not a bad thing, um, but it's definitely not full coverage. Um, my skin was pretty good today compared to how it is some days anyway, um, so that obviously helps. Um, the colour match of the two sides is very good so far, but we'll have to see if one or the other oxidises throughout the day. That'll be interesting to see. I need to remember which side is which. Um, but yeah, looking at it now, they both look pretty, pretty similar, um, from what I'm looking at. I will come a little closer to show you. Oh, the shadow's getting it. Hang on. I don't really pay attention, so why don't I guess which one's the most expensive side? Oh yes, Tommy, do you want to guess? From what you can see here, Tom, my brother Tommy is just going to guess which side he thinks is the most expensive side because he hasn't been paying attention to which side. Hmm. This side is the more expensive side. Well done, Tommy. You are right. Well, it's not worth whatever ridiculous. So I'm going to do like little posts throughout the day, kind of short clips, kind of at lunchtime in the afternoon, evening kind of time um, to just update you on what's going on. I am going to do my makeup as normal after wearing, um, after putting this on, just because that's what I would normally do anyway. And I will powder um as well throughout the day because that's again what i would normally do i'm going to do everything as normal and just be it's going to be a comparison of the sides but so far there is not much difference at all i think when you get an expensive foundation you're paying for longevity you're paying for coverage um you're also paying for the consistency of it the fact that it's not going to cake up that kind of thing so we will have to see and also just to let you know the reason why my mum gets this is because she has rosacea on her nose um which is obviously a skin condition which is why she uses this um to cover that up so i think if you've got a skin condition it's probably maybe worth um spending a little bit of extra money on it um not that kind of money yeah maybe not i think there's some alternatives possibly um like dermacol i really want to try out dermacol it's apparently the most full coverage foundation in the world so i want to try that out and it's like super cheap off ebay anyway so i will keep you posted wait someone's hoovering <coughs> i do apologize sorry i filmed a video my voice is dry so this side is the Primark one, as you remember, this side is the Estee Lauder. I do think this side looks a little nicer than this side maybe. I've done the rest of my makeup and yeah, it's, it's looking okay so far. Aubrey did actually say he preferred this side before I told him which was which and my mum thought that this side was the Estee Lauder when it actually wasn't. Um, so that's interesting, but yeah, I'll keep you posted. It's now after lunch, it's actually half past, actually what time is it? Quarter to two. And yes, my lipstick's dodgy, but we don't focus on that. This side, again, is Primark. I haven't powdered at all yet. 
um, and this side is Estee Lauder. Um, they both feel like they're going to get a little bit oily, like both sides feel exactly the same in terms of the oiliness. This face, uh, sorry, this side is actually a tad bit shinier than this side, um, but that was just the foundation was shinier, so there's not really much of a change so far. Another update, we're about to go out for a walk, meal and cinema, very quickly spoken, and sorry I'm getting my shoes. And basically, face update, absolutely fine. Like my skin has been even better today than it normally is with my normal foundation, which is Rimmel. So maybe my skin's just like, thank you Georgie, thank you for new products. Um, but I powdered slightly. This side, Primark side is definitely more shiny than the other side. Um, I asked my dad which one he thought was the most expensive and he guessed the um, Estee Lauder site, so he was right. So mum and Aubrey wrong, Tommy and dad right. But yes, so uh, anyway, I'm gonna head off now and I'll keep you posted after I've eaten and everything. We're in the pub. We're getting something. This, they're quite shiny and quite oily. The last clip I was actually in the bathroom and there were some people on the toilet so I didn't want to talk. Um, but yeah, the, both the sides look exactly the same, don't you think? They look exactly the same one. Don't you think the sides look exactly the same? Oh, still. Let's have a look. Say that again. I do believe you do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the conclusion to this is that for the price difference, there is no difference. Hmm. But I think if I wore it all of one and all of the other, there is a difference because I've done that before. Um, but I think price-wise, £2.50 to £32. Yummy. So that is the end of the video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe for more videos. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye and have a good day. Goodbye.